there are equestrian statues that have always haunted me. One is Teddy Roosevelt in front of the Museum of Natural History. He's flanked in that statue by an allegorical African and an allegorical Native American. And in my own practice, I'm not only interested in who those guys must have been, who they were, these two men walking while the great white man rides on the horse, but I'm also interested in the ways that formally, how can we subvert that relationship? The West itself was one of those places, was one of those places that had so much open in it, so much imagination in it, that this foundational American myth was full of people of color, was full of all of these folks who were trying to rewrite history for themselves and for their future. I am rethinking this idea of the equestrian statue that normally celebrated a great man of some sort and thinking instead of the collective that a ranch represents. So this is six steel horses that tell the story of two cowboys, Alton Vero and Loper. We make statues so as to bring the past into the future. Statues end up being the sort of time travelers of our narrative. I am in some ways rebuilding the ranch. I'm rebuilding the ranch that Alton Vero and Loper started and trying to refigure the equestrian statues of old, taking these horses down from their pedestals. We celebrate and we think about what communities those two folks would have built, would have been part of, would have oriented their lives toward.